Um, well, it just kind of turned out this way. Um, this is what happens when you try to take the exact dimensions of a uh, of a Trojan, and then you don't add the rounded edges. The first half of this video is going to be a specs and overview, and then the second half is going to be the flight and made it. The electronics for this plane are the exact same as the Aileron RC trainer, if you've seen that. Um, we got a, a 250 size motor on there, 7 by 3.5 prop, a 10 amp ESC back there, 5 gram servos, I got a spectrum receiver back there. Um, it is a little bit underpowered, but that can be fixed. Um, I suggest making the uh, the length and width of the fuselage definitely smaller. I think it's around four inches the size of this fuselage up and down, and uh, and it uh, blocks a lot of the a lot of the thrust coming from the prop. And it'll also make it lighter. It'll make it more aerodynamic. It'll just help a lot. Um, this was at an accident, as I said earlier. <laughs> And it ended up looking like quite literally like a Chipotle burrito. Um, I was designing this plane for my brother. He wanted a uh, larger size Warbird that was similar to his Ultra Micro T28 Trojan. So we took the exact dimensions of his Trojan and scaled it up to a 30 inch wingspan ratio. Um, we did go with the same control surface sizes also. And that was a bit of a mistake, at least on the ailerons, because this thing will snap roll like a 3D plane. Um, elevator has perfect amount of elevator there, though. So that works out really well. Um, the rudder on this thing is a little bit small for the plane size. It had a little bit of trouble tracking, but that can be easily fixed with like a couple inches tall rudder. And it also, we had a... Uh, a little uh, windshield right there for scale beat or for just to make it kind of look like a speedster but that ended up causing a lot of drag and also um, creating even worse tracking because it deflected the wind flow over the flow of the rudder so we have like this little trunk hatch right here like of a car um, your battery doesn't even need to go all the way forward you could just fit it um, right around there this is such a great balanced plane um, for the motor I would recommend going a little bit higher size than 250 class. Um, I think you could safely go up to 300 class for an extra oomph power. That's what I have on my F-22 over there. Um, like a Blue Wonder or maybe a uh, mini quad motor with a larger prop. But um, now let's go to the uh, landing gear. So the landing gear is completely optional of course. I use the same wheels as the Alien RC Trainer, and I use Flight Test's little uh, design where they uh, have the push rod go back and out, and then I just glued that in there. No wood or anything, because that would add a lot of uh, a lot of weight to it. I just uh, cut out a little slot, slid it in there with paper, and then I taped it on both sides along with glue to add support for landings and stuff. And these wheels work very well. They do add a little bit of weight, but they don't affect the flight very much. So I do recommend adding them if you're going to be taking off from a field instead of hand launching. Um, it'll give you that nice scale look. In the description of this video and also in the flight test article, I will put the uh, dimensions for this plane, everything you need to build it. Um, if I miss anything, please leave a comment below and you want to build one. And if you would, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a build video on this because the last build video I did for the Aileron RC trainer took a really long time to finish and it was just overall a lot of work and school is starting soon and I may not have enough time to compile those clips for you guys unless you want to wait a few months. But um, anyway, I think that's it for the specs and overview. Uh, let's go see it fly. No way! Oh my god, look at that roll rate! Is that on dual rates? That's on dual, so... Oh wow, it's nice and dark. That's 
skeptical about it. Skeptical about it. What power do you need for it? This is only half power. Okay. But, oh my god. So vibrating. But it needs like no trimming at all, too. Look at that roll. Like, watch this. Yeah, that's, that's not even our duel. It'd be like a 3D plane. And it has plenty of elevators. You have low battery. Okay, let's do our last stone. I want to fly, though. Power plant and an ultra micro. So it flies a lot like the trilogy. You ready? Okay, let's start. Let's start. It's counting. You're gonna need to keep some decent throttle on it. Despite this wind. <laughs> 